Taylor, 15 appearances for the club already, but I'm rec I reckon that's the most memorable so far. Yeah, that was definitely up there because uh, I think I've worked hard since my debut off the bench almost uh, over a year ago now. And uh, it was very rewarding to get my first start in the league. And I think I played all right, so it made, a, made it an overall enjoyable day. You think you played all right. That's very humble. and very. But the fans voted you man of the match. Everybody yeah. out there voted you man of the match. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, excellent. It's a great feeling to know that the fans are behind you. It gives you great confidence. And hopefully, with that confidence, I can kick on and uh, try and stay in the team. Where was the goal? That, that's why it was only... <laughs> An OK performance. Usually uh, I can shoot, but I think I left my shooting boots at home on Saturday, so I'll try and bring them for the next game. A couple of chances though, Taylor, and that shows you that you're getting into the right areas at the right times. Yeah, that's the most important thing. If, if you don't get in the areas, you're not going to score. I think if I keep on getting in those areas, I'll definitely put one in the back of the net soon. And the assist, that goes into the column against your name. You could have shot. Yeah, I could have shot, but I heard I heard Marzi shot one more, and I've I seen their right back cover over a bit too far, so I knew Marzi was in a little bit of space, so... Faked it onto him and when Mars in them position, he didn't miss. We can see from the pictures that we got in particular how delighted you were when that ball hit the back of the net. What does it feel like to know that you've played a part in that? Uh, yeah, it's a great feeling tonight you've played a part because especially when you've been on the bench or watching from the stands, seeing how well the boys are doing when you get in that team, you don't want to let them down. So I'm just pleased I could help the team get the three points at the end of the day. And JJ's goal, when you played that ball off to Joe Riley, there's a sort of a defender coming and you're thinking, what did you think when it got past him and Joe suddenly threw? I thought, Phew. Quite lucky to be fair. I thought he was going to cut it out. I was I was ready to press him to try and win the ball back. But I think if I put a bit more pace in it, the defender wouldn't have come out to try and intercept, which ultimately gave Joe um, that time to pick out his pass for JJ's finish. And we men mentioned those chances. One cleared off the line that you'd beaten the keeper. You must have thought that was in. Yeah, well, when I took the shot, I thought it was an open goal. I didn't realise he was there. So I just thought, if I get this in tar on target, it's in. And then when I seen him block it, I was absolutely gutted. <laughs> Despite those 15 appearances, you are quite an experienced lad now, Taylor, but what's it like when the manager gives you the nod and says you're playing on Saturday? Oh, it was a great feeling. You know, um, I think I've worked hard for it and uh, sometimes a bit disappointed not to get my opportunity a bit earlier. But, yeah, when he gave us a chance, I just thought, I've got to take this now. He mentioned that. He said he'd had a joke with you and you'd actually said, not in a joking manner, right? yeah. I'm ready, let's yeah. do it. When he asked the question, he was joking, but I was deadly serious and I said no, because <laughs> obviously I want to play. And yeah, that's it. When you're given the news, you obviously can't tell too many people. What's yeah. it like for a, young, for a young player, particularly at his hometown club, and you've got to wait before you can tell anybody? Yeah, it was hard not to tell anyone. I told um, all my family members, but I just told them to keep it on the low till the team was announced. But yeah, I was desperate to tell everyone, but I couldn't, so... Thinking back just over a year when you're getting your contract and everything's coming to fruition, I could tell how proud you were then. How proud do you feel right now? Yeah, probably more proud than when I did get my contract because I knew when I did get my contract, there was a lot of work to do and there still is a lot of work to do now. I've got to keep on working hard and training to try and make sure I'm still in that team. Now, the gaffer's mentioned, uh, again, a previous appearances, say, against Sunderland or whatever. It didn't go, quite go your way, but he's mentioned that you learn, you listen and you take it on board. Yeah, I think the Sunderland game was a big learning curve, you know, the best way to learn is when you're on the pitch, so that's, that's probably what I've done. Do you feel like you're developing all the time now, Taylor? Yeah, I think I am, yeah. Uh, coaching staff here are brilliant, and, uh, but the most important thing is working hard in training, and the gaffer and gav, and throughout the club, they're always banging about hard work, so yeah. That's that first league debut under your belt, and you've laid down a real marker. The fans are buzzing about the fact that you're a local yeah. boy as well. You've said it already, the, the hard work is still there to do. Yeah, there's lots of hard work still there. The gaffer actually texted me on Sunday morning saying that his dad said to him that he doesn't consider him a professional football until he's, until he's made 50 starting appearances. So he said, well done, 49 more to go. This is your team, Taylor. You supported this club yeah. since you were a boy. What's it like to be pulling on that shirt? Uh, it was a great honour, to be fair. Um, very proud moment for me and my family as well. What did your family say on Sunday? Uh Saturday, even. Saturday, I think they didn't let on, but I think a few of them were quite nervous saying after the game, but they were very proud and pleased with how I played at the end of the day. We mentioned those fans, Taylor. What's it like to have that feedback that you saw as soon as you tweeted after the game when you're on the bus? They, yeah. It was floods of it. What was it like? Yeah, my phone was on fire, to be fair. Um, like I said before, it just gives you great confidence to know that they're behind you, and then that can help you kick on and play even better. And knowing that you've shown the manager and Gavin, the coaching staff, that you are ready, yeah. that must do your confidence a world of good. Yeah, definitely. We just need to take that now and push on. Taylor, superb. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Andy. Thank you.